Hi guys, just want to go over some drug dosage basics with you to give you an idea of how you can use something that's common day to work out your drug dosage problems. So let's say we go to the gas station, Lynn's got gas, and we find that the price of gas is $2 per gallon. Because we know two things about this, it'll be easy for us to set up a ratio and proportion problem to solve a problem whether we show up with an empty gas can or we only have a limited amount of money in our wallet. So because I know two things, I know the price and the volume. That means the price is my one variable and the gallon is my volume. I can now take this and say if I have $10 in my wallet, I can figure out how many gallons I can get for this amount of money. Because my labels match on both sides, I can easily work this ratio and proportion problem. If I use the same two variables, knowing the price for one gallon, but this time I have a five gallon gas can, I can figure out exactly how much it's going to cost me. Now most everybody could look at this problem and be able to solve this without having to go into much detail. We're going to show this as an example of how to trade out our price per gallon for solving a dosage problem. So our order says we have a bottle of tablets that are 325 milligrams each. We have an order for 650 milligrams by mouth. And the question is, how much are we going to give? So to put this into a ratio and proportion problem, to give us an idea how to use it on more difficult problems, what I have is always on the left-hand side. I have 325 milligram tablets. On the right hand side is what I need. I need 650 milligrams. I'm solving for how many tablets I will give. By doing cross multiplication Three hundred and twenty five times X is three hundred twenty five X, and one times six fifty is six hundred and fifty. To get X by itself, I divide whatever's in front of the X away. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So the answer to X is two. Before I go on and commit a fatal error by getting a wrongly labeled problem. I'm going to say I solved for X, X was a value of tablets. So I'm going to put my label next to my number. A note to be made is it will always be helpful to add labels anytime you're using numbers to work your problems.